Good day, and God bless you, and thank you for the privilege of inviting me into your domestic church as we continue our daily prayer to combat against the coronavirus, as well as finishing our day today as we pray for the poor souls in purgatory. Though we may end this formal novena of prayers for the poor suffering souls, please do not forget them and pray for them often. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Angelus Prayer. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth and beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. A prayer of solidarity. For all who have contracted coronavirus, we pray for care and healing. For those who are particularly vulnerable, we pray for safety and protection. For all who experience fear or anxiety, we pray for peace of mind and spirit. For affected families who are facing difficult decisions between food on the table or public safety, we pray for policies that recognize their plight. For those who do not have adequate health insurance, we pray that no family will face financial burdens alone. For those who are afraid to access care due to immigration status, we pray for recognition of the God-given dignity of all. For our brothers and sisters around the world, we pray for shared solidarity, for public officials and decision makers. We pray for wisdom and guidance. Father, during this time, may your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all. Grant peace, grant comfort, grant healing. Be with us, Lord. Amen. We continue. In our Novena prayer, our ninth day, our meditation today, neither the pain and torment caused by fire, grief, darkness, nor the uncertainty of when their suffering would end could ever compare to the pain they felt by being kept away from God's loving and grace. The pride of his divine brilliance, any soul, that makes it free of purgatory is welcomed into heaven where they need not suffer ever again. We pray. My God, how was it possible that I for so many years have borne tranquilly the separation from thee and thy holy grace? O oh, infinite goodness, how long suffering hast thou shown thyself to me. Henceforth, I shall love thee above all things. I am deeply sorry for having offended thee. I promise rather to die than to again offend thee. Grant me the grace of holy perseverance, and do not permit me that I should ever again fall into sin. Have compassion on the holy souls in purgatory, I pray thee, moderate their sufferings, shorten the time of their misery, call them soon unto thee in heaven, that they may behold thee 
face to face and forever love thee. Mary, Mother of Mercy, come to their aid with thy powerful intercession and pray for us also who are still in danger of eternal damnation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to our suffering Savior for the souls in purgatory. O most sweet Jesus, through the bloody sweat which you did suffer in the Garden of Gethsemane, have mercy on these blessed souls. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer during your most cruel scourging, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer in your most painful crowning with thorns, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer in carrying your cross to Calvary, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer during your most cruel crucifixion, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer in your most bitter agony on the cross, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the immense pain which you did suffer in breathing forth your blessed soul, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. Blessed souls, we have prayed for you. We entreat you, who are so dear to God and who are secure of never losing him, to pray for us, miserable sinners, who are in danger of being damned and of losing God forever. Amen. Out of the Depths Prayer Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the my voice and supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than sentinels wait for the dawn. More than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And as always, it's my intention not only to bless those physically present with me in the church, but also to bless those who are spiritually and virtually present at this time.
May the heart of Jesus and the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen. Thank you again for joining with me in this prayer, and especially for those who have prayed the Novena prayers for the holy souls in purgatory. I, again, recommend and encourage you to pray for poor souls throughout the month of November, and in fact, to pray for them each and every day, to release their time in purgatory, to admit them into the everlasting rewards of the kingdom of heaven. Thank you again for joining me in prayer. I look forward to praying with you very soon. God bless you.